Hello world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blog so far has been what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. I also like to cover how I see the world versus how you see the world and then I like to give advice to people whether they are autistic or not and then I like to uh, put the everyday average neurotypical in their place because they are being a pain in the butt. And these are people that are know-it-alls that think that they know absolutely everything about autism when they don't because they listen to these quote top experts who are really as dumb as a doorknob and they're really working in the autism industry because there's a lot of money so they'll say anything to get themselves noticed. And uh, I, then I like to talk about what is going on in our news and that includes uh, talking about little children that are being mistreated by school systems and uh, maybe parents and uh, possibly uh, bus drivers and bus aides such in the case of or such is the case as a young man by the name of Jeffrey Lamb and uh, tonight I'm going to talk about uh, something that's going on in my life and so uh, about four years ago I had graduated from a, a two-year institution called Georgia Perimeter College right here in the Atlanta area and I uh, had happened to also uh, transfer off into Georgia State University and I always knew I would get into that school and I, uh, di I did of course but that was already by the time I had reached 28, 29 years old. Unfortunately uh, that dream got cut short because I was laid off from my uh, work program job which was in a warehouse setting and I had uh, had done some inventory scanning. Unfortunately, again, that uh, job got cut short after eight years due to the line of work temporarily uh, drying up. And I'd also been looking for another job anyway, so the door closed. But I ended up um, having to uh, put school on hold. Now luckily, I did get hired at a commercial real estate firm, but that was on commission and um, we weren't able to uh, get any closings so I hadn't made any money yet uh, which is kind of sad you know because uh, I've had to put school uh, on hold for two years now and it's made me really mad because um, I have a dream to follow I have goals I want to set and I you know and I want to get a PhD and uh, you know I go as far as I can and uh, let everybody know that uh, I'm not super disabled, that my my IQ is not in the lower average, and that I'm never gonna that uh, you know that people aren't going to uh, underestimate me, what I can and cannot do, and uh, look at me based on my behaviors. So, and unfortunately, I cannot do that. And then I was also being told that uh, oh, you shouldn't be going to college anyway. Um, too many people are graduating and uh, they're not able to find any jobs because they don't have any skills and you know what I'm not listening to that crap I'm going to school to get a degree in mathematics I mean I was originally going to uh, do a degree in psychology but I would rather do a degree in mathematics and I mean I'll tell you why in another video but here the reason why I am putting this special blog out is again I've been out of school for two years and I'm getting sick of it I am uh, stuck having to look for work and I'm sick of having to look for a job and I'm sick of having to sit by and watch other college students um, brag about uh, which classes they are taking and how they like and hate their teachers and their instructors and their uh, college professors and then I have to sit by. It really stinks. I mean now luckily I've been able to get on the alumni but I just I haven't been able to uh, find a job and it really ticks me off. And I'm also not going to take out any student loans because I'm not going to graduate from college in debt and then find out that I can't find a job because uh, either um, I didn't have, an, have enough skills or, or if, uh, you know, if the economy is even worse by the time I graduate. No, I'm not. So anyway, what I wanted you guys to do was um, possibly um, help me out. There's a website below called GoFundMe. Go, that's GoFundMe. And that website is uh, for uh, fundraising purposes. And so what I'm doing is creating a fundraiser to raise $30,000 by the fall of 2014 so that I will be able to have two semesters to go back. And then by the time uh, spring semester rolls around, I'll probably be at 
uh, KW Commercial again and probably find a second job. And then I will be able to have be able to take more classes based on the commission and the other money that I have set to the side. So please do the honor to help me out. Until next time, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and um, I'm signing off now. Have a good night.